Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make these adorable curly cues. I use these mostly for my patterns for our squid and jellyfish, but you could honestly use these for anything. So we'll gather our supplies and we'll get into it. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using this baby snuggle yarn and I'm going to be pairing it with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. That's all I'm going to be using for supplies for today, so let's get started. So to begin our curly cue, I'm going to start with a slip knot. Now if you're following a pattern, just follow however the pattern says to start your curly cue you probably are going to be attaching it directly to the body of whatever it is you're making um, but I'm not attaching this to anything so I'm just going to start off with a foundation chain row first and then I will do my curly cue from that. So I have my slip knot completed. Now to start I'm going to do my chain row, my friend foundation chain row and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain 22 so to chain, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through. Yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So there is our chain row. So there is our chain row. Now to start, what we're going to do is we're going to skip our first two chains. So we're going to skip this first chain and we're going to skip this second chain here. And we're going to be working first into this third chain. Now I will begin this just by saying that everybody's going to do this a little bit differently. Um, this is just how I create my curly cues, but um, there's lots of different ways to make them, so um, just do what works best for you. But what I find works best for me is I do two double crochets in each chain along all the way to the top. Now you can do three double crochets in each chain, you can do alternating one double crochet, two, one, two, one, two, and that's all going to affect how curly your curly cue is. So I personally like having two in each along, and I like having double crochets. I just like the height of them and the thickness it makes the curly cue. So to start, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook into this third chain from the hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one double crochet. Now I'm gonna go right back into that same chain space I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now, because we skipped the first two chains, we will only have 20 chains to work into. So we're going to work two double crochets into each chain along for all 20 chains, so you'll have 40 double crochets at the end. So I'm just putting two double crochets in each stitch along. One, two, One, two, three, 
One, two, You can also make this with any type of yarn. Anything will work with this. It's very adaptable and flexible pattern. All right, this is our last one, our last chain. So we'll put two double crochets in here. Now I'm just going to cut my yarn. And I'm just going to yarn over and just pull that through to tie that off. So this is kind of what we're looking like. It doesn't look like much. <laughs> it doesn't look like a curly cue, but I find that these just need a little bit of um, help curling up. And then they usually keep their shape really well. And there is your curly cue. It's a little stretchy and it's honestly so easy to make. I really hope this was a helpful tutorial for you guys. Let us know in the comments down below if there's anything else you'd like to see. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!